Hello and welcome to Real to Real today as we come to you in the final days of Lent. And one of the great traditions of this sacred season is the annual Catholic Men's Conference. The 2016 gathering was held last Saturday, drawing more than 400 men from across the diocese and beyond. They came together to celebrate their faith, listen to several speakers, and enjoy fellowship. Peggy Weber was there and reports now on this exciting and grace-filled day. The 14th Annual Catholic Men's Conference was a day for holiness, and a lot more. The event featured talks by John Leonetti and two converts, Marcus Grodi and Peter Kraft. Marcus, the president of the Coming Home Network and host of EWTN's The Journey Home, said he was delighted to speak to the men. I never dreamed that I'd be invited to be a speaker to a bunch of Catholic men. I mean, that's, that's, that's just a powerful privilege, and I'm very honored to do that. Marcus, a former congregational minister, converted to Catholicism 22 years ago. He said that his ministry focuses on a yearning for God. I think because, first of all, God has planted a seed in every person to desire him to come back to God. It's in everyone. Marcus flew in from his farm near Zanesville, Ohio. John Leonetti came from Des Moines, Iowa. He described himself as a speaker and author who loves Jesus and his faith and wants to share that joy. You know, happiness is a funny thing. Every one of us want to be happy in this world today. The problem is, is that so few are. He said that only in God would one find true happiness. However, he said that one must first learn more about God in order to love him. Learning more about God was one of the goals for all who came to the conference. The day also offered fellowship, a chance to chat over a delicious box lunch provided by the Eastern States Exposition. The day also drew long lines and sincere hearts as 20 priests came and heard the confessions of the men. And Father Gary Daly conducted benediction and the popular hem of the garment Eucharistic procession. The day concluded with a mass celebrated by Bishop Mitchell T. Rosansky. One of the fun things men get to do at the men's conference is to browse all the vendors' tables. They include religious items, swag from our partners at Catholic Television, and even special bread made in the recipe of Bishop Rosansky honey bread from the Turner's Falls Knights of Columbus. It truly is a delicious day. The Knights said they named the bread in honor of Bishop Mitch and sell it to raise funds for charity. Men's prayer groups, booksellers, and many others enriched the day. And it was a family affair for the Freemans of Shelburne Falls and the Pierces of Greenfield. Paul Pierce invited his son, Sean Pierce, and grandsons, Nate Pierce and Kiernan and Miles Freeman. Well, I thought it would be a good experience to come with my grandfather and my uncle. They invited me to come, and I thought it was just a good opportunity to come and check it out. I thought it was really cool how uh, reading can actually boost your faith, and I never really thought about it like that. His cousin Nate summed up his reasons for coming quite well. So I'm a strong Catholic, and my, I was raised Catholic, and I love God. It's really awesome, and it's really good to get your faith stronger. Father Jonathan Reardon, chairman of the conference, was thrilled with the turnout and the great sense of faith felt all day during the conference. The energy level is up, the joy of the men is up, so the spirit here is just completely joy-filled and upbeat and uplifting and encouraging. Peter Kraft, a well-known author and professor of philosophy at Boston College, gave talks about conversion and evangelization. He became a Catholic at age 21 and said appreciating what is true and learning more about the faith are important. Our faith is so rich, we tend to think it's like an enormous building and we concentrate on the upper stories. I want to get to the foundation. He also said Catholics have to be better at evangelizing others. Jesus, when he gave the Great Commission, preached the gospel to all creatures, didn't uh, give a postscript saying this applies to the clergy only. So this is uh, mainly the laity's problem and we're doing something about it. Energized? Uplifted and renewed, those attending the Catholic Men's Conference had a full day to learn 
laugh, and pray. For Real to Real, I'm Peggy Weber. So I'm not sure I'm starting to see.